Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I filmed, probably over a month, and I'm apologizing in advance because the words just are not forming. <laughs> I've tried to film this intro now four times, and each time I'm just all over the place, so bear with me, please. This is going to be a haul. It was my birthday on the 20th, which was last Tuesday. Like, I can't even believe how fast this year has gone. Like, uh, it's crazy to me. But anyway, so Friday was my last day of work before the holidays, and I went down to the States on Saturday with my best friends. So I picked up a few things that I'm gonna show you. Um, our dollar stole really, really bad though, so I didn't actually get that much. And then Sunday, um, I just had a brunch with all of my friends, um, and it was awesome because everybody managed to come out. It was one of the crazy snow days in Vancouver, and they all came out, and it's just crazy because we we used to hang out, this group of friends and I, we used to hang out probably every Friday and Saturday. And then life happened, you know, jobs and kids and work and everything. So it was just really nice that we could all be together right before the holiday and just eat yummy food and catch up and everything like that. And then on my actual birthday, I went to brunch. So me and the hubs with my mom and my brother and his wife and my niece and nephew who are so cute and they're getting so big now. It's just, it's crazy. Anyway, two minutes. Okay, I've been talking for two minutes. I need to shut up. So this is stuff that I have bought. So um, I don't even know where to start. So I'll show you a couple things that my friends picked up. Honestly, my friends give me gift cards. Um, I got like chocolates from them. I got a lot of gift cards from like my sister, my mom, or sorry, like my sister-in-law and my brother and my mom. But some like tangible things that I got were actually these candles. And so I love candles and my best girlfriend, Helen, knows that obviously. So she picked me up a bunch of the Spa candles. Honestly, they all smell so good. I don't even know how she knows. Well, of course she knows what I like, but. Um, this one here is honestly like, oh, it's so, so good. So it's by Blue Spa. They're all by Blue Spa and it's a parasimmon one and it's just marvelous. See, like I, I can't talk what is going on with me. Um, oh, I should show you this sweater because I've been wearing it constantly. So I, this is one of the things that I bought for myself and it says, if you can see it, mistletoe. It says mistletoe and wine, and I feel like I need to wear it as much as possible before the Christmas break is over. So honestly, I have probably worn this giant, it's really oversized. I've probably worn it like, since I bought it for my birthday, probably like four or five, almost like every day that I go out, or if I'm just at home, I'm, I'm always wearing it because I just love it. Is that gross? I don't know. Wearing the same shirt over and over. Anyway, so I picked that up, and then it's by the brand Adolescent Clothing, and I got it from The Bay, and I also picked up this guy from it. If you watch Mean Girls, then you will know what this is about. And it says, on, one, on Wednesdays, we wear pink, and it's just like a pink shirt, and you guys know I have no color at all in my wardrobe, so this is like the only thing that is colored, and it's just a size small, and it's kind of like a boyfriend fit tee and it's awesome and I actually cannot wait to wear it. And then I picked up, these are just basic. These are from Aritzia, they're just the stride pant. Um, they are kind of like double lined. I think they said they're, it says, made using soft jersey that's spun with organic cotton. I thought it was lined with something, but it's not, but it's a pretty thick one. Um, I really like these, this is in a size extra small. They are kind of cropped at the bottom, so they hit me perfectly, I'm about, Five five. So if you're interested in sort of leggings that are gonna fit at a good length, then the dry leggings from Aritzia, and it's the TNA brand. And then from Aritzia, I also picked up a pair of jeans, and these are them right here. They're by Citizen of Humanity. They're pretty destroyed, as you can see, but I love the actual bottom of them. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there you can. So it has the hem that's um, like the irregular, what am I trying to think? 
asymmetrical kind of hem so they're cut out there so it just looks kind of cool when you wear it with sneakers or boots or like sorry booties or anything like that and then I thought the back was also pretty cool because the pockets are a little bit lowered and these are the rocket high-rise skinnies um, I have these in like a dark denim as well and I got these in a size 25 I believe yeah a size 25 and then um so this is from target and i don't know if you remember the show i don't even know what's still on it might be still on sorry i keep hitting the table that my camera is on and it keeps shaking it um but the it's the brand who what where if you know that brand but it's just like a giant massive oversized sweater it is huge and i love it and it has pockets in the front and I really like when there's pockets sort of in the front as opposed to the side and this is a size small and it was $39.99 but when I went it was I think 40% off sweaters which is insane so even with our dollar it was like being so bad it was still a good choice or like affordable what am I talking about anyways it's super oversized and if you shop at Aritzia and you know the Aronson sweater this is kind of similar to it I feel like um, just a cheaper option and I believe it's acrylic but it's not itchy at all and that's sort of what I can't stand so it's acrylic nylon and spandex super soft so obviously I had to get it in black as well so exact same giant oversized sweater but in black <laughs> And then keeping with this whole oversized and whatever theme I got going on, I also picked up this one and it's from American Eagle. Again, it is huge. This one is super, super warm. I, can, I don't even know if you can tell by the knit of it, but it's really, really kind of thick and chunky. Um, and it's super soft. It's double breasted, if you can sort of see. Um, where's the other side? So usually I don't like getting sort of like double-breasted jackets or anything like that because okay I can't even hold it up because it's massive uh, you just have to kind of trust me there can you kind of see it oh my gosh it's gonna be like the worst there you go you can kind of see it there um, I don't usually get sort of double-breasted jackets or anything like that because I feel like they can make you look a little bit bigger than you are but this one it's just it's awesome so it's super thick and you can, I'll link everything that I can down on um, in the description box. But I got this one in an extra small. It's mostly cotton and then there's um, some acrylic in it as well. But it's super comfy and it looks great just sort of layered over t-shirts or v-necks or anything like that. Okay, and then sort of the big things that I purchased for myself. I got myself... A bag so I ordered it from essence and I love essence if you're in Canada it's a great um, sort of luxury retail site that you can purchase from so they have everything they have Fendi Chloe Givenchy um, Saint Laurent they have tons and tons of great brands but they also have like contemporary brands so they have um, Converse they have Vans it's just um, the Converse and the Vans, I usually do collabs with other people, like the John Vavartos, Veritos, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they do have some kind of contemporary brands as well. So I picked up a Givenchy Mini Antigona or Antigona purse, and it was in the color caramel, and it um, had chain detail on it, and it was gorgeous. I'll insert some pictures. So you can kind of see what it looks like but it was so gorgeous but when it came um it looked perfect just straight out of the box and then i was sitting sort of at this table because i have a big giant window here and the leather on both sides of like the winged part didn't match up it wasn't pebble leather and it's not smooth leather and that's what i kind of liked it was sort of like an in-between um, but I'll, like I said, I'll show you in pictures so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But I was heartbroken because I had to send it back and it was honestly so gorgeous. But there were two other bags that I was kind of interested in so I just sort of swapped and instead of getting one bag I got two. Uh, the first one is this guy here and it's by Givenchy or Givenchy. I don't know why I said it like that. And 
excuse the puff because I actually haven't worn it. I was just kind of playing around with it, but I'll take it off. This is what it looks like. So it's the Pandora and it's in the color Old Pink, I believe. And it's a mini Pandora and then it has chain detail and it has like kind of that leather part at the top there. So I really, I've always loved the Pandora. It was really popular kind of last year when Kim Kardashian was wearing that gray one everywhere. But the first time I saw it was with my cousin. And that was like the summer that we, my husband and I got married. So like 2014 and she had a black one and I fell in love with it. And then when I was looking for my Gucci, um, she told me, she was like, why don't you just get the Pandora? It's my favorite crossbody. But I just really wanted the Gucci one. And then when I was looking again, she, this Christmas, she was like, why don't you get the Pandora? And I thought, oh, I don't know. And I ended up with the Antigona, but I went back to what my original decision was. So this is it. And the new kind of Pandora, they have so many different types of like leathers and things like that but the new kind of Pandora has this chain link and that's what I kind of like about it. I just think it will look so cool, even just wearing with uh, like a sweatshirt or with like the big oversized kind of sweaters, I just think it will be so nice. So this is what it looks like. It's a bit smaller than the mini, the Pandora chain. Now the only thing that I have an issue with is that it's so long. So like I said, I'm 5'5". Five, five. I don't know if you can tell, but it hits me like, way way far kind of down it gets hard for you to see here but I would like it to hit higher up sort of like there so I was tinkering with it so I could kind of see what I could do like and that's why I had this fur ball kind of hooked in so I hooked it like that so it short, sort of shortened it but I'm probably gonna just take it to uh, a leather specialist or um, like a shoe place or a bag repair shop and just have some of these links taken out and that way this will fit perfectly but it's so pretty and so it has a bottom zip here just kind of like that and I can actually fit my phone I don't have my phone oh that was another present to myself I ended up getting myself the iPhone 7 um, in gold but my phone fits perfectly in this bottom and then this top part, like I said, I actually haven't used this yet. Um, so this is just the, probably the authenticity stuff, yeah. So Pandora mini chain, it's a goat um, leather. It's the sugar, I think that's what they call it, the sugar leather. And like I said, it's in color old pink for reference if you want to know any of that kind of stuff. I'll link everything down below just a swatch of leather and stuff and then this guy here is just a deep kind of pocket and like I said I haven't even taken everything out but I do have my bag behind me and I thought I would show you maybe what kind of fits in with it I'm sorry this is like shaking so much I need to stop shaking that okay Ooh, this is like a true what's in my bag because I been out consistently like every single day so this is a mess right now but um, I have my little card case here this is also Givenchy so that can go right inside and then I have my wet wipes and that fits in this will kind of show you the size it's pretty spacious in there and then I have some gum and I have oh this is one of the presents so this is from one of my fantastic friends and it's just like his company it's physio room if you're in Vancouver you probably know physio room because they've been rated I think for the past four years five years top physiotherapy um, and massage sort of therapy place to go to so he gave me this but inside there was like a hundred dollar gift card to virtuous pie which is a vegan pizza place so it looks like a little passport holder it's just a notebook Anyways, that's going to go in too. And then, holy smokes, like what is all this stuff? I clean up my bag. My lip balm, which I love. This guy I got, um, it's by, oh shoot, what's the brand? Too Cool for School, and it's the Dino Plats. This is so awesome. So it's just a lip balm like that. It smells, oh, it smells like some sort of delicious candy and it tints your lips and it's like it's really moisturizing and I'm like 
really, really picky with my lip balm, so that can also be kind of thrown in. Please note there's like no small little separate um, pocket back here, so everything's kind of just going to be thrown in. But basically, is that it? Just receipts, purse, another lip gloss, and it all fits. So now it kind of will droop down like this. It's not going to remain as like kind of perfectly boxed, but it's Oh, I can't get enough of this bag. It's so gorgeous. So I'm really, really excited to wear this one. If you want sort of like an in-depth review on this, I mean, it's a classic shape. This is one of Givenchy's sort of classic shape, but it's not like their most popular bag style, like the Antigona, I would say is. Okay, that's there. Please don't fall. This table is a mess because I have Christmas presents and everything on it. And then the second bag that I picked up is by Chloe. And this is my first first Chloe piece, so I'm super duper excited. And it still has all the wrappings and everything on it because like I said, I have not opened it up. But here it is, and it is the Chloe Faye wallet on strap. So there's like a big, long kind of strap there. And this has to kind of smooth out, obviously. And I got mine in the tobacco color, I believe that's what it's called. It's so cute, so this guy here obviously I have to still take this off, but there's like that chain detail there that kind of droops down and it's like gold. I like the different colors, so it's gold and then silver kind of there. And then the back is just plain and it has this beautiful suede. This is, so Chloe has the Fay bag in the small and I think the medium size. So this is the smallest size and now they just came out with a backpack, which I absolutely love as well. But I thought this would go well with tons of different things. I don't really feel like it's a true, so there's just the style number, just says Chloe, and then this is the, what's this? Probably like the care stuff. Oh yeah, and then the authenticity card. But um, it's not like a true wallet on the chain if you think about Chanel or Louis Vuitton or like Saint Laurent or any other brand because typically they're gonna have like a place for coins and like a pullout. Um, this is just like almost like a mini bag. You have three little card slots there, but then it's just like a little tiny mini bag. And mine came with like a little scratch on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see right there, but um, I'm pretty sure I can just buff it out with like my finger and my natural oils, but or like a leather conditioner will probably work for that. But So this is my other little bag. It's really small. Um, when I first opened it up, I was like, what? Like, how am I even supposed to use this? But um, I think it will be perfect in the summer when I'm just wearing, we could wear this all year round. Like it will look good with like gray or black or even with my leather jacket. But um, like with shorts and when I'm nice and tan, like a white tee or something, I don't need to carry a lot. My phone does fit in here. Um, I did try that and it fits like a small card case and like my essentials, but it's just like a very teeny, small, beautiful bag. And I love the color of this. I was gonna get the gray, but then I was just sort of worried about color transfer, and I really don't wanna worry about color transfer or anything like that. But I bought both of these bags because I thought the colors were very sort of neutral, and I feel like all my bags right now are black. So I wanted to have a little bit of color in my life, but I didn't wanna get a red or anything like that just because those are harder to pair, so I feel like this can go with like a leather jacket, my big oversized sweaters. I could wear it, you know, in the summer with like tees and jeans and jean shorts and stuff. And the same with this one. I think just the colors are just sort of universal. So I think that's everything. I feel like I've been talking like crazy. So. I hope you enjoyed the video and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you and to your families and loved ones. And I will probably see you guys in the new year. Bye.